Normally, industrial activity or forms of transport that use fossil fuel across the world has been blamed for the increased air pollution and greenhouse gases emission. According to World Health Organization, more than 7 million people die every year globally due to pollution. Nine out of ten people breathe air containing high levels of pollutants, especially in the cities. However, in the wake of coronavirus pandemic that has seen countries lock their borders and entry points, less industrial activity and transport has drastically cut down the level of pollution. These pictures from China reviews a high level of reduction in air pollution. The emissions have gone down by 25% at the start of the year as people are instructed to stay at home. We can see there is uh, some uh, good news and uh, uh, that, that is where we have, we have, we have seen reduced uh, air pollution. Coal use has also gone down by 40% in China. Air quality has improved by 11.4% compared to the same time in 307 cities in China last year, according to a report by China's Ministry of Ecology and Environment. Researchers in New York say that early results showed carbon monoxide, mainly from cars, has reduced by nearly 50% compared to the last year. Northern Italy, which is highly hit by coronavirus cases, has also had significant reduction in nitrogen dioxide in the atmosphere. The same case with Britain and Spain. Planes have been crowded in many airports across the world due to the ongoing lockdown. Planes and vehicles contribute to air pollution. China is the highest contributor to greenhouse emissions, followed by America, India, Russia, Japan, Germany, South Korea, Iran, Canada, among other countries. Back in Nairobi City, the level of air pollution has also gone down with less vehicles in the city and no traffic jams as is normally the case on a normal day. There are reports from different parts of the world, like from London, from New York, and they have seen much clearer air. They have much cleaner air, much cleaner water. Air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions lead to flooding, drought and famine with Africa paying the highest price from global emitters. There are fears that global emissions will rise after the world contains the spread of COVID-19 and life gets back to normal, with industrial action expected to double to compensate on the lost time. Carbon dioxide remains in the atmosphere and oceans for centuries. This means that the world should remain committed to continued climate change action, regardless of any temporary fall in emissions due to the coronavirus epidemic. Dan Kaburu K24, Evening Edition.